This is Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today you'll consider this like your vitamin and mineral for your heart and mind. And wherever you receive podcasts, will you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, leave a rating and a brief written review. And also, if you would please pass the word along so others will be able to find uh, this podcast. Today, I want to talk about what do you do, leader, when you don't know what to do? I mean, we are in times right now around the world that are unsettling. None of us have planned for this or trained for this. So we have to ask ourselves the question, how do you lead in times when there really isn't a book There really isn't a seminar you can go to and not even an effective course to take that would help you with this. Well, I'm going to give us um, about five, six things that I believe are important characteristics and attributes and things to do when we're facing those difficult times. I think one of the first things that we need to say right at the beginning is all of us are always tempted to to think that no generation has had it as tough as ours and things are more complex today than they have ever been. There is a sense in which that's obviously true, but every generation has had difficulties. Those of us in the Western world especially, oftentimes the things we describe as problems can really be defined as first world problems there are more basic situations that are up for grabs in other places. So I think we have to just uh, hold steady. So the, the first thing is that when you don't know what to do, you need to ask for help. Oftentimes, because leaders are perceived to be people who have been brought in because of their knowledge, skill set, and the fact that they do possess nearly all of the answers. There's no leader in this world who knows how to do everything or who has the answer for every circumstance and situation. Ask. I think you would be better to ask uh, people who are in leadership positions, ask other folks their, their perspective. I think asking helps us to sort through the emotion one of the worst things that we can do is just evolve down into nothing but an extreme emotional response. This is a time to ask for courage and to be courageous. And it was Napoleon who said that courage isn't having the strength to go on. It's going on when you don't have the strength. Um, It may be, leader, that your company, your position, even in your own family, you're in a crisis time periodically, and you don't know what to do. The steps are not lined out for you perfectly. Then have the courage to take the next step and to just keep stepping. So asking is important. I think the, the reverse side of asking is the second thing that I would say that leaders need to do when we're in situations when we're not sure what we need to do, and that's listen. Listen to the so-called experts. Listen to the uh, material that is important that you will need to process and to internalize. And I ask that you would just Listen. Listen to your mentors. Listen to friends. Listen to people uh, where you work. It's important to hear the different voices. And one of the things that happens when we listen, it allows us to stop whatever we're doing, kind of slow ourselves down, and as I like to say, take a breath. Breathe as much as you can. Get control over your emotions. So, when you don't know what to do, the first thing, leader, you do is you, you ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. We all need to uh, help others, and we all need to be ready and available to help others when they ask. And it's a good time to listen. Everyone already knows that there is no one in our world today who has all the answers for the situations and circumstances that we're facing. Therefore, it's a good time to humble ourselves, and to listen to others. And then the third uh, attribute that I want to talk about of what you do when you're just not sure what to do is to trust. 
Now, there's a spiritual component to that. If you're a spiritual person, then even if the world is shaken, we we trust in God. But I I think there's some other things that I want to say to you beyond that. That that is important, especially for those who have uh, beliefs and faith and are and are uh, spiritual persons. But I think you have to trust that all of the events in your life, both academic, experiential, your family, decisions, the sum total of everything that has brought you to where you are today, you need to trust that you made decisions, even when you made decisions that in retrospect may not have been optimum, you have been able to tweak and to change and to do mid-course corrections. So trust your past decisions, trust your training, trust your experiences. Um, I would even say trust your gut. Don't, Don't just act on that solely, but just trust that the same processes that brought you to where you are today will lead you into the future and you will you will learn what you need to do. You see, most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. That was what Dale Carnegie said. Trust and hope are held together. And and a lot of folks have gotten where they've gotten because they kept trying even when it seemed pointless. It's never pointless to keep moving and keep trusting. Uh, The next uh, one that I want to talk about is number four, and that's hold steady. When you're in a time when you don't know exactly what to do and things are shaking and people are nervous and everyone is running to and fro, perhaps the best leadership item that you can do today is to hold steady. Hold steady. Knowing that tests are a part of life. And to be tested is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. The challenge life may be the best therapist. And so there are going to be challenges, there are going to be tests. And right now, this may be a test. You may be going through a test unlike anything you've ever faced And the news today is hold steady. We need our leader to be calm and collected and not running around with their hands in the air screaming, we're all going to die. Let's be leaders who hold steady, keep a steady hand on the wheel. Ma'am, sir, we need you as leaders to hold steady. Uh, The fifth one that I want to uh, talk about, the fifth is be bold. Now, you might say, Dr. Ron, that seems to be opposite of everything you've said so far, asking and listening and trusting and and holding steady and not running around um, just throwing our hands in the air in despair and giving up. And now you say, be bold. I believe after you've asked, and after you've listened, and after you've gathered information, and you're trusting the fact that you have had good processes that have led you to where you are today, there are times when we're in these kinds of crisis, semi-crisis, or at the minimum, very difficult days, in which leaders are where they are because we're needing someone to be bold. We need someone to keep pushing ahead. We need someone who will say, we're going to keep trying. Uh, Don't be discouraged. It's often the last key in the bunch that opens the lock. So be bold. Keep trying. Keep pushing. Keep moving forward. The last one, it's really the next to the last one, I guess. Consult. I've already talked about this by asking and listening, but I I want to talk about not just consulting and asking and listening, but to some specific persons. I trust you're an individual in life that has a friend 
and a confidant, if you will, someone who won't betray your confidence, someone who will listen to you without judging, someone who will listen, and if you ask for advice or ask for critique, will give it to you honestly, bravely, and fairly. If you don't have a person like that, let me tell you what I believe is the easiest way to find that kind of person, and that is just be vulnerable and put yourself out there to be that kind of person for someone else, someone who listens without criticism, someone who's not just waiting to dump a bunch of un, um, unsolicited, non-solicited advice, but just be a friend. And so find that friend, that mentor in your life right now who you can consult with. Maybe you have a coach. Maybe they're not in an official coaching uh, position, but someone that you think could really coach you up and help you. They've been through some difficult days and have some experience and would be happy to share uh, some of their ideas with you. If you're a person of faith, uh, consult your faith. If you're a person of prayer, person who believes in the Word of God, I, I would consult with my Word of God, with the Word of God, and with faith and prayer, and allow my faith to consult and to calm me and to direct me, and to give me the most important thing you need in a difficult time, and that is proper perspective. I've alluded to it earlier in this podcast, but I think you also need to consult with your intuition. I happen to be a person who believes that you can listen to intuition. Intuition does not trump knowledge, facts, and a lot of other things. But sometimes there are, for folks these deep feelings that we have that you need to listen. And if you have feelings of angst, and, and right now probably everyone has feelings of angst, but, but don't discount your own intuition. Now, I'm not saying it should trump the, and go above your friends or your coaching or your faith, but it should certainly be a part of the equation. Um, I have the last word that I want to give to you, leader. When you're leading in a time when you don't know what to do and you don't know what you should do, they're just three words. Don't give up. You see, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. There are times when we are struggling and we don't think we're going to make it and we think the world for us is about over. Don't give up. Think of the caterpillar. Just at that point and at that moment when the caterpillar thought it was finished, they were done. It was over. It became a beautiful butterfly. I know these are anxious and trying times, but be courageous women and men. Be the leaders that we desperately need in our world today who keep their heads and their hearts in these kinds of desperate times. I believe in you. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today that it's been like a vitamin or supplement for your mind and heart. And again, wherever you receive podcasts, please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom. Remember, my leadership friend, even today in the difficult days you are facing, you are doing not just better than you think you are, you are doing far better than you think you are. And this is Dr. Ron saying to each and every one of you, be encouraged, don't give up, have a great and blessed day. 